This is Chris W71's CTC 15. Uh, and today I'm going to pull the safety lens off this using heat. Everyone seems to think that that ring around there, which we call cataracts, is mold. It's not. It's delamination of the the uh, bonding agent between the safety glass and the CRT face and I've done several videos on this there really can't be enough videos on this I usually like to use water and let them soak but I'm kinda in a hurry on this one so I'm gonna use mostly the sun's heat and maybe a heat gun and apply a slow pressure and try and get this thing off of here so first thing I'm going to do is yank the chassis and everything and, and pull the CRT. So here's the CRT. 10 minutes to get that out of there and I'm not going to remove the metal bracket because I can get to the seam right there. Metal trash can with towels around the lip for padding. Here's what it looks like out of the set. You can see how absolutely hideous it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this black trash bag over it to keep the direct sunlight off of it and also help trap the heat in. Alright, we'll be back in... Uh, four or five hours probably around two to three o'clock after it's been good and baked and then we'll peel the tape off and go after it with a heat gun and some chopsticks so it's been around two hours now and the trash bag is up around a hundred and eh, depending on where you go about 172 173 degrees okay this is a bit overkill but this is what I got you need safety gear when you do this, okay? This is an MSA helmet with a riot face shield on the front of it. Um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stick the helmet on and I'm going to scrape a little bit out of here and stick some chopsticks in. Okay, so what I'm going to do, very gently, I'm just going to scrape a little bit of this out. like this and I'm going to I might have to trim these down but I want to wedge um, four of these around to keep some pressure up on the glass while I heat it I'm actually having trouble with the chopsticks on this because there's so little of a gap between the uh, the safety glass and the CRT so I'm gonna start to uh, heat gun it here and I'm not gonna I'm not going to um, film the whole thing basically it would take an hour's worth of film so I'm gonna pause this
able to pop loose there. Look at my uh, my chops that go in there now. Oh, there we go. God, that stinks. That's it. It's what you're looking through. Okay, so it's very nice that that came off in one piece. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cool off for a little bit. I'm not going to screw with it while it's hot. And then the next step is to clean this all up. Um, you want to kind of keep your safety gear on the whole time face shield, eyeglasses, something because these things uh, will implode and it doesn't you know it doesn't have any safety glass on it it could be very violent and very uh, really hurt you. One reason I left the strap along the outside is that that will help it not implode that will add some strength. So I guess what I can do is I can Start cleaning this up right here. It's still pretty hot. I think I might just wait. Now the next step is to get this these surfaces as clean as possible because any little granule of dirt that is left over will be sealed in there forever. So I'm just gonna use Windex, paper towels, and elbow grease, maybe a a razor blade to clean this up. Look at this flaw in the face of the CRT. It's in a place where it'll be hidden under the mask, but it's still kind of interesting. This is double stick tape, four pieces. This is clean, the safety glass is clean. Now just to set the safety glass down, center it out. Okay, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is take it inside and run a bead of silicone one all the way around the perimeter. So watch me try and do this one-handed. So anyway, we're going to go all the way around the outside with this and we're going to let it set up. I'm not going to let it fully dry because uh, I'm going to stick it back down in there while it's still soft and uh, tighten it down. And you want to do this while it's hot too because as it cools down and contracts, you don't want pressure built up between the uh, CRT in the lens, you'd rather it be in a vacuum if possible. I'm putting a degaussing coil down in here out of a more modern set and what we'll do is we'll use the uh, the thermistor that modern sets use in series with the coil and then we'll put a switch uh, like a push button switch to manually degauss. So here's what it looks like with the um, safety glass PVA material removed, the cataract cleaned up. 
or as most people would call it, the mold cleaned out of the screen. So the mold has been cleaned out of the screen. This is Chris W71's CTC15. Uh, and today I'm going to pull the safety lens off this using heat. Everyone seems to think that that ring around there, which we call cataracts, is mold. It's not. It's delamination of the the uh, bonding agent between the safety glass and the CRT face. And I've done several videos on this. There really can't be enough videos on this. I usually like to use water and let them soak but I'm kinda in a hurry on this one so I'm gonna use mostly the sun's heat and maybe a heat gun and apply a slow pressure and try and get this thing off of here. So first thing I'm gonna do is yank the chassis and everything and, and pull the CRT.